We're eight hours into the termination appeal hearing of former Lafayette Police Chief Thomas Glover. The Lafayette Municipal Fire and Police Civil Service Board side with LCG on the first round. The second round is up to Glover to prove he was not given enough time to prove he could do the job. News 10's Renee Allen has been there for the entire hearing. She joins us now live with more. Renee. Wow, what a long day. We're about a little over eight hours into this hearing. It's completed now. And the board voted twice. One, they voted that the former chief was a probationary employee when he was terminated. And then they also voted that he was given ample time to prove that he was worthy for the job or able to do that job before he was terminated. I have the chief here with me along with his attorney and legal counsel. And what are you, you feeling about all of this? Jay Arthur Smith, sure. the third of Baton Rouge, is representing um, Chief Glover. And, and what's the feelings about all this? Well, it's a big disappointment, uh, but, but my overriding feeling is that it's, it's legally flat wrong. Uh, he was denied a due process hearing to show that he was not fired uh, for, uh, for cause, and uh, he was uh, his performance was complimented uh, throughout his employment. And I'm going to give you a summary of compliments from the uh, from from the mayor president. Great job, great job, great job, great job. So the mayor president basically blindsided uh, Mr. Glover and then came up with uh, some paperwork that said, oh, we had made some negative comments about his performance, mm -hmm. which uh, basically there was no performance evaluation ever. And you can't have a fair performance evaluation if you don't have a, a, a performance evaluation. Now, there was this um, question about some TikTok video, and, and I think people are feeling that may have sealed the deal for him when it came to the termination. That's when um, the CAO has decided or discussed that maybe there's, there's some question about integrity here with the job. Well, that was never, never uh, disclosed to, uh, to Ms. Glover, any integrity issue. That's absolutely false. There was some TikTok videos of, of, of a, an employee uh, that was probably not good judgment, but uh, Chief Glover did the right thing. He, he, he addressed the issue, and in his discretion, he took the appropriate action to, to inform the employer that it's not proper, not going to be tolerated, and shouldn't happen again. Okay, I'm going to see if I can squeeze this out of um, um, Glover. Um, what's next? First round, first minute. That's what I'll say. This is, this is the first round, yeah. first minute. I'll say it like that. You'll just say that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I thank you both for joining me here. And again, like I said, this was an eight and nearly eight and a half hour um, hearing that took place. You know, the board just really had two things they had to decide. Was he a probationary employee or was he a permanent employee? They decided he was a probationary employee. And then also, you know, as you heard from Glover's attorney, they voted that um, he had ample time um, to prove his worth. Um, and as he said, this is round one. Reporting live, Renee Allen, California News 10.